Nope. I'm Adam. Hey, I'm Eric. We're just the basic. Started the band just the basic about a couple of years ago. It's just a little project that I just started writing some songs back in the day. Me had a producer that I was actually um, recording with in a different band, and we started hashing some songs out and recording. Um, a few years later, after we came out with a few demos, asked Adam if he wanted to get in the mix and started jamming together, and uh, we wrote, what, about five songs? Yeah, five or six. And uh, we uh, started jamming with the drummer at that point, just kind of get things mapped out, and we uh, started recording those as well that you get that are already out, some are out. Um, just the basic name came from me being in a band before and it kind of broke up and I kind of got back to my basic way of writing music, just being in my bedroom or just being kind of by myself and hashing some stuff out. So getting back to that basic form of writing music, that's where just the basic came from. And uh, we're just gonna keep recording now and just go from there. Same thing they take away from our, all their other music. We just uh, enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, it's what they listen to. I don't know. Um, you know, there's a positive message behind it. We usually write about some tragedies and just whatever's on our mind, and everyone's going to take something different from it, you know. But in the long run, you can get through anything that you guys are struggling with. And with our music, hopefully, it sends a positive message to those guys. You know, it is pretty aggressive and heavy. But it's not all angry, you know what I mean? There's definitely positive things in that when we play. Yeah. Started screaming and I felt just like a fool. It left you broken. Heavy. Yeah, it's definitely with parts of not heavy. It's definitely heavy. It's pretty melodic. Um, it's a little bit newer era when it comes to like the the metal or <clears throat> hardcore, I guess, type of music. A lot of screaming. Yeah, it's it's got some screaming, it's got some anger, it's a lot of passion behind it. Um, I think that uh, it's got elements of punk as well, faster riffs. And it's just like, when it comes to music, there's no limitation. So whatever you like, you, there's a little bits of everything. With some yeah. acoustic stuff too. It's just got, it's a whole, it's, 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 a, it's a blend of everything. Just probably really no hip hop. We'll see how it develops too. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, we, as, as us together playing, it's just, it, we just started getting a good gist of how we want this music to be sounded. So there's more to come on the way. So who knows what's going to happen in the future. Can it be bands that are alive and dead still? <laughs> Cause uh, I mean, one for me probably the Beatles. Yeah, I would I love it to the Beatles. I don't know if our fans and uh, blend well with the Beatles fans. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I don't think I'm mad about the fans though on that aspect. But yeah, the Beatles would definitely be a band that I'd be cool to uh, to, uh, to tour with. Yeah. Like, their sound was revolutionary. I'd uh, I'd like to tour with Queens of the Stone Age personally. Oh yeah. Yeah, they're I'd, one of my favorites. I yeah, honestly, I'd probably like to do uh, Brand New. Brand New hit me when I was younger, and they were mm -hmm. and. I, they're definitely the kind of style that kind of more fits us, but I like their I just like their music in general. Yeah. That, that would definitely be one that I would like to go tour with. Maybe Clutch. Ooh, Clutch is they a little old like school cool too. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Seem like real cool guys. I don't know. I just I mean people. I mean we'll pretty much tour with anyone if they have. If we actually had the chance to. <laughs> to be honest with you. Yeah. Right. So yeah. Um, I guess one for me would probably be um, one of my favorite albums is uh, Thursday Full Collapse. I think I burnt a hole through that CD multiple times and had to go buy it right. again and again. And, and if there was CD places out there still, I would <laughs> probably buy it again. Um, got another one? Uh, Blackwater Park from Opeth. That's a good one. Yeah. Um, another one that I would probably want to look, couldn't get enough of is, uh, Fall Boy, Take This to Your Grave. When I was a teenager in high school, that one was, like, this changed my 
life when it came to the music, just the melodies on it and the way that they actually used the instrumentation on that one was, it was awesome. Like, right. it, was, it was before it's time, I feel like. Uh, Doggy Style by Snoop Dogg. Oh, what do you think about that? And if that's the case, I'm definitely gonna go. I'm gonna go. That's a good one. I'm gonna go with um, uh, Dr. Dre's. Um, uh, what is it? 100, uh, 10, uh, 2001. Oh, uh, Chronic 2001. Yeah, that one is that. That one is definitely a yeah, hard that's, hitter. That's up there. So when it comes to <laughs> rap or R&B album, albums, that's the one that I would I would definitely take as well. attention to a lot of it to be honest uh i don't listen to the radio because the radio in detroit kind of sucks yeah there's much radio either there's a few songs out there i do like on the radio that i've, I've heard <clears throat> on the radio but i mean most of my music is streaming yeah well, there's a lot of newer bands that i like like uh, uh royal blood i'm really into them um there's a lot of cool rock bands but there's a lot of shit too but I guess it's always been like that, you know. Yeah, I mean, the, the, there's so many bands out there now. It's just it, it's like kind of watered down. But a band that I that I like that's pretty much new is uh, it's Belmont. I think they have a really good sound. Um, it's more punky, but they still have those really catchy hooks. Yeah, I haven't heard them. I'll check it out. And they're they're pretty solid. about statewide locally it's kind of uh, the metal scene especially has died down a lot from where it used to be 10 years ago it was booming there was a lot of cool venues to play and a lot of great bands out and now it seems like it's kind of dwindled down um, yeah you, a lot of the a lot of the venues are gone there's only a few good ones it seems i agree like the same bands are always yeah bands, so if you go shows. it's the same four bands every every weekend so you yeah. got like it's it kind of gets sick there's a few bands that are pretty solid they have a little bit more than local when it comes to uh, like Kaleido, super super awesome. They're yeah. their local band, and then um, um, LC Banks is a little bit more local, and they're they're really good rock musicians mm -hmm. as well. So, um, but locally, you know, it's about it. for it i say take the music um you know everyone should get money in the long run for what you're doing and your passion but like i'm so i'm passionate about the music that i play i want people to hear it and the easiest way for you guys to hear it is just go download it and with comes just the basic you can download all our music for free and we want you to share it with everybody and just take it because we do it for you guys we do it for us but we want you guys just to hear it I think just take it, I mean, in my standpoint. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I mean, I don't even know how prevalent illegal music downloading is anymore. Like, when I was coming up in school, you know, we did a lot of that because it was new on the internet. Yeah. And, like, there was no other way to do it unless you went to the store and paid 20 bucks for an album, right? But now, like, I have Apple Music. It's 10 bucks a month, and I can listen to whatever I want. So, like, and I, guess I don't even download anything. And I don't even download anything. Like they, so. most of the bands on there, if they're big enough, they get paid, right? I'm sure they do. And there's a bunch of, <laughs> especially when it comes to ads. So I feel like they're getting paid some way somehow. But yeah. for just the basic, just take it, please take it and show everybody. Doesn't even matter. Yeah, right now we're. We in should probably find a drummer. <laughs> yeah, drum, um, we are currently looking for a drummer, but we are in the studio as we speak. We have an album in the works. Um, there's already a few songs out. Um, it's called uh, Left Unsaid. So we'll check out the, the couple songs that are already out. We actually have um, a few more that we are gonna record some different, um, some more instruments and record our vocals on and get it mixed and mastered. But there's a lot in the works for us. So it, um, for right now, it's just um, promote the music that we have out now. Um, keep trying to grow a fan base for the most part and just keep recording and writing as we do now. Yeah. Let's do a shout out to everybody. That's all. 
<laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, I want to do a shout out to um, From the Depths Entertainment. We're super stoked that they gave us a chance to uh, be a part of their family, and we're really um, excited to see where that takes us. We'll also do a shout out to our studio, um, the Sound Shop. Um, it's in Michigan. Uh, Kevin is our producer, and he definitely lets us be creative, and he has lots of great input for what we're trying to uh, create with our with our music, and also our engineer Phil. If it wasn't for him, the late nights that we have, and his ideas on some of the guitar work, and just on some of the um, different aspects to the song, we wouldn't be who we are today. Uh, my name's Eric. I'm Adam. And we're just the basic. Thanks.